So I have majority of my channel is bots. I'm convinced. So we're gonna do an experiment. I know the real people in there are the core of this channel. So I'm gonna keep spitting reality until I lose. Hopefully, I want to get down to like 10k subs. Hopefully, because I think that's you know, I think that's still a little bit bot ridden. But uh, yeah, this Evergrande narrative seems to really be pushing the button. So I'm gonna keep doing this and keep showing reality until I get down to the right amount of subs. So let's keep going. All right, so some arguments I've gotten from the bot network. Um, bot, argument number one, um, they're in $300 billion of debt, therefore they're going bankrupt. Okay, well, the United States of America is in $29 trillion worth of debt, and we didn't default, and the same companies own our stuff, so why would Evergrande be any different? Not to mention, again, there's a policy if you just go to Google, um, you can actually debunk yourself pretty easily, actually. Just go to Google right here, and you type in three red lines policy. It was in August 2020. Um, and here is the policy right here, the report. This is the code here. But I'm just going to get to the meat and potatoes of this real quick. Because I know it's bot network because every time they, they, they give an argument that makes no sense and then they always like their own comments. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of these mofos. So the purpose of the three red lines, let's read all five of them. Number one, to control housing prices. Number two, to manage land markets. Number three, to ration credit to the real estate sector. I'm going to read that one again slowly. To ration credit to the real estate sector. China's authorities are concerned about the amount of capital absorbed by the real estate industry. They had too much capital. So what do they do? They force them to deleverage. Oh, no. Well, again, you have no pr I have. I've shown <laughs> way more proof that they're not going to default than you have that they're going to default. So your turn. Anyways, keep on subscribing, please. I would love to get down to 10,000 by the end of the month, if possible. So again, remember, Evergrande's not going bankrupt. They were never ever going to go bankrupt because they've been getting bailed out by the ETF ecosystem that's embedded inside the money market fund ecosystem that's inside the re repo market ecosystem, and you don't like this. But hey, it's okay. You don't have to be mad at me. Or actually, go ahead. Be mad at me. I don't care. I'm going to keep doing this. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and read you the number of lines breached and what that means. So if they breach all three lines, they're only allowed to grow 0% in debt. Th two, which is an orange ranking, 5%. Yellow, 10%. Green, 15%. So you see, that's what happens when you live in a communist country. You're allowed to do certain things. You're not allowed to do certain things. And if you have a three lines policy that, again, um, basically outlines everything here that everyone's hyping about. Um, it's kind of makes you look silly when you're hyping something that was planned all along. So this article, this report was written in January of last year and it says right here that they expect China's developers will be under pressure over the next 12 months. But hey, let's go ahead and jack our tits over that and think MOAS is going to happen because something that was already planned in the first place. Hmm... Sure, why not? Anyways, if you don't like this video and you can't handle reality, please unlike and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Have a good one.